Hi all. Welcome to EIESB Mio 4, 4 minute videos. In this series we will demonstrate how to use Design Center in building Mio application flows. Design Center is Mio latest addition to its portfolio. I am very much excited to show you FTP to FTP application development in the Mule 4.0 Design Center. In this tutorial you will learn about how to register and get hands on to Design Center. Let's open your browser and open anypoint.mulesoft.com, log in with your credentials. After successful authentication you will be presented with the Anypoint homepage. This page contains links to Exchange, Design Center. Runtime Manager, API Manager and Partner Manager, Access Management, Data Gateway and MQ. Let's start developing our FTP to FTP application using Design Center. Click on Design Center, which opens Projects page. Observe no projects are present as we have just created the account. Click on Create button. You can create a MULE application or API specification or API fragment. We will choose MULE application. Provide project name and choose target environment, by default design is selected. Observe and left, you will find flows, connectors and modules and data types. New flow is created and by default you will see trigger component. For the first time new automatically displays few tips. In every MULE application, flow is initiated or triggered with trigger connector, component. Trigger can be HTTP, scheduler or Salesforce connector. Let us choose HTTP connector as trigger, which displays the property page. Provide path and click on edit if you want to change HTTP configuration. Application is saved automatically. Click on plus symbol button to add more component. Now we will add FTP connector. In select component search for FTP, it display FTP component, select it, different operations are displayed. Unlike in previous versions 3.x, FTP have multiple connectors for each operation like copy, delete, list, read and write which we can use for both FTP and SFTP. We will choose read operation to read file from FTP location. Next page displays FTP configuration. Let us set up FTP configuration, by clicking on setup link. Provide name for your configuration. Unlike in previous versions 3.x, we don't have two connectors for FTP and SFTP. Here single connector is used for both FTP, SFTP. As per the requirement we should change connection type to FTP, SFTP. Choose FTP and provide FTP server, port, user, password and path. Click on test button to check the connectivity. You will see success message. Provide files details to read. We are done with configuring FTP read component. Let us add FTP write connector. Perform the same steps as earlier, but this time we will take write operation as we need to write file to FTP location. If you want send response back to calling program, in earlier version we used to call set payload component. In this version, HTTP listener has response option where we can set the response, return value after successful transforming the file to the destination. Set the message in response as body. That's all we are done with coding. Now let us deploy the application onto Cloud Hub. Click on deploy. After successful deployment, you will see latest changes deployed. Before testing the application in Postman, make sure you will connect to FTP server and check files are available in source folder. Test the application providing URL in Postman. You will see response message in Postman. Let's move to FTP location and verify the files. You will find the file in target folder. Now see the flow, observe green line. As this flow has been invoked and executed successfully it has marked with green color, if any failure it will mark with red color. Now let's see Runtime Manager. Click on top of let most page and choose Runtime Manager. Click on Runtime Manager, it displays FTP to FTP application and its status is started. Click on the FTP to FTP application, see CPU and memory utilization, 24 hours. That's all for this video. 
you will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at Mule Design Center at eiesb.com.